I'm going to whip up some styrofoam stew for later in the day. Big pressure cooker. I'm just going to put some styrofoam cups in here. Little styrofoam cups. Maybe five styrofoam cups. We'll leave a spare out. Oh, maybe I'll keep that one for later. I'll put this guy in. And a styrofoam packing peanut. Okay, that's cute. I heard a little bit of giggling. Like we don't want styrofoam stew. Look how cool this pressure cooker is. It's got a pressure gauge in the top. That's awesome. Let me tell you why I think that's awesome. I am terrified of pressure cookers. I'm just regular pressure cooker, about that much water in the bottom, put the styrofoam in, clamp this down, and I'm going to go put it over here on a hot plate. You want to take this? Okay. It's back down to saying zero is the pressure inside. And the safety valve is down. I can assure you that the pressure is not zero in there. What is it? At least? Atmospheric pressure. And the gauge on here says when it's up to full pressure, it's at 15. That's 15 over atmospheric pressure. OK, so I put some styrofoam down in there. And um, let's see what we got inside. The question is, is it all flat and melted? See the packing peanut? <laughs> oh, this is so funny. Okay, ready? Here's the packing peanut. I'm not kidding you. Look, it really is. Look at it. There it looks like a little egg. Okay, so I put one cup in here that's a little smaller. Oh, he didn't fare so well. Oh my God, look at that. Okay, the first time I did this, you know what I thought? I, well, I just got back from Paris two weeks ago. This is a freaking actual coffee cup in Paris. <laughs> Have you been there? First time I was in Paris, I was like, okay, uh, you know, I'd send somebody to get coffee for me because I can't even find my face in the morning without coffee. This is totally true. I have a coffee shelf in my shower. <laughs> Sometimes you need it for your addictions, you know. And so I send this friend out to give me coffee, and I'm like, can I oh, just go give us some coffee? It was, you know, after jet lag flight. And she comes back with this. I open the door. I hear kick, kick, kick on the hotel room. I open the door. She's going like this. <laughs> they do. I mean, what is that? You know, I, know, I now know why they talk about the French holding their pinky fingers up, because you can't get the rest on there, you know. OK, uh, forget the French, OK? You know, I'm going to, here, here, just look at the packing peanut, all right? <laughs> OK, now why? Why is this doing this? OK, it's a pressure demo. It's a heat demo. Styrofoam has all these little air pockets inside. And so when you heat it up, the, soft, the styrofoam becomes soft inside. And there's more pressure inside those air pockets. So they swell up and they, and they but if, you, if, the, if it gets warm enough in there, you can actually have those air pockets open up the pores on the outside of the, of the styrofoam. And the gas kind of leaks out until the pressure builds and the sucker clamps down and then the pressure doubles atmospheric pressure and all the voids that used to be there get squished and it gets squished completely and exactly to scale. <laughs> if you taught junior high kids you know, or younger kids, you'd say, what's its mass? It's the same. Really? Can you get an analytical balance? It is less. Gas inside is out. But you need a freaking analytical balance to do it. So anyway, yeah. <laughs> funny. Oh, what would be even better to put in here? What would be even better? A wig head. A wig head. Oh, a wig head. Wig head won't fit. 
until you get an industrial size one. You know how long it takes to shrink a freaking wig head? About two weeks of it running every day. And then some kid goes, I'm going to do it. By God, I'm going to shrink that wig head. And then the kid between every hour is coming in. Rigged up this big pressure thing. I'm going to shrink that wig head. The kid now has a PhD in analytical chemistry. <laughs> it was life size. Swear to God, you want to hear screaming and running down the hall, Rawr! looks like an alien, and the kid comes running out three days, Rawr! you know. I, of course, tried everything I could think of um, in a standard size one. Somebody must have figured out that I might do something a little non-traditional. You know. How about those little, it's an emergency, and I need a six-pack of beer, but it's going to be a long ride to the lake. <laughs> this is for French beers. <laughs> Look, it's even got the little holes. Ah, it's a French beer cooler. Oh my God, and it says a dollar right there. If you shrink, it says a dollar. Okay, the question is how big was it when it went in? Um, well, you know, by comparison, uh, they were standard, standard cups. You know, they were a, that was a standard eight ounce cup. Um, this guy was, um, it barely would fit in a big one when it went in. <laughs> I opened, oh my God, it was so funny. Um, shrinking styrofoam, um, you know. So the other day I was like, you know, I need to see how long it takes with this certain hot plate to shrink this. So I'm over there and the kids are working in my class doing on some, working on some you know, heat problems. And I was like, all right, so I'll teach this today. And they go, T -t 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 and they're like, what's going to happen when you pull those out? I said, let's see. Okay, we laughed so hard. I had running mascara down my face. I looked like Alice Cooper in the 70s. But, you know, hey. All right, so there's that. Okay, what were we going to do? Oh, we were talking about light before I remembered we had to chat. <laughs> uh, the top of its head didn't shrink quite right because all the pressure inside couldn't get out and it really does look like an alien. <laughs>